Hey guys, Timmy here from Malaysian Vapatic and today I have a new review for you guys. This is an absolutely stunning mod. This is the D-Flame Fat Lady, okay? This is the D-Flame V2 Stabilized Wood mod. Uh, it's made by Ali D-Flame. Uh, it is a DNA 4D mod. It is made out of stabilized wood. It is handcrafted and it is absolutely beautiful, okay? I'm absolutely uh, happy to own one of these and Yes, I'm going to do a review for it, okay, because um, they are releasing the new version now, which I have. This is the version 2, aka the Fat Lady, and this is a showcase, kind of a review, kind of a showcase to just show you guys uh, what uh, this mod is all about, right? Uh, first and foremost, this uh, mod is made in Sabah, okay, it's where I was born, it's where I grew up. So to me, it, it, it kind of meant a lot, okay, in my opinion, because I'm born here. And for models to come out from Sabah and actually uh, make such a beautiful mod, okay, absolutely beautiful. Yes, I choose my own uh, stabilized wood, but still, um, the craftsmanship is absolutely stunning. So, I'm going to do a review for this, uh, and then we'll show you close-ups first, and then we'll do the full review, alright? So, I'll have a vape, and we'll go for close-ups. So hey guys, this is the close-up of the D-Flame mod, uh, the Fat Lady version 2, if you guys want to call that. This is the box that it comes with. Of course, it will come uh, wax seal. If you guys uh, did not watch the unboxing of this, yes, it will have a wax seal. And you open it up, you do get uh, some foam and your mod sits in there just nice. Okay, so you do get a card here. It does say D-Flame 40, Evolve 40 watts, solid, stabilized, burl wood. Super light aluminium, Slim Mama 510 connector, your serial number, and the signature of uh, Ali himself, right? So, that's pretty darn cool. You do get a pouch where you guys can keep your mod. I use this pouch a lot because I do not want to scratch this mod. But it's a very nice pouch with the D-Flame logo. Beautiful, okay? Beautiful. And then, of course, the star of the show is the D-Flame mod, right? It is... <sighs> It's just absolutely stunning every day i wake up i look at this mod and i just feel like you know stunning what else can you say about this mod okay it is the wood i've chosen obviously is stunning but the finish of the mod okay the way he shaped it uh, it, it is bloody beautiful okay it's it's like this curve profile here and straight here so when you hold it it just curves right nicely on your on your hand and then when you put it on the table it actually sits nicely because previously the version one it was uh, both curved so when you put it on the table it will just wobble around like that so they changed it to make it like this and that's the reason for it which i think is pretty darn smart okay but yeah just sit back relax and enjoy the beauty of this mod okay it's it's absolutely stunning okay absolutely stunning so you do have your uh, 510 connection the slim mama which has a five t uh, adjustable 510 connection it's a spring loaded so every atomizer you put on there will sit just nice on there all right so no problems whatsoever the bottom part here is where your battery sits uh get a coin or a key or whatever i suggest using a coin okay so just twist it out get your battery out Okay, it's just a brass piece there. Show you guys the brass piece uh, in the picture. So this is the brass piece, okay? Uh, nothing uh, to adjust your battery rattle from here. So uh, to adjust battery rattle, you just have to screw it in all the way, right? So, and that's the inside. Very clean, very nice inside, okay? Uh, not, nothing, nothing to complain, okay? It, it's absolutely beautiful. The threading, easy easy as one two three okay uh, it is it is a very high quality um, main mod okay it's it's absolutely beautiful obviously it runs the dna 40 which you know i don't really have to talk about um the frame here is aluminium uh, instead of stainless steel but yeah aluminium because it's light this thing right now it's bloody light okay it's really really light i think I think a Typhon GT is heavier than this mod, okay? So literally, that's how light this is. Um, the up and down button is this uh, tactile buttons, really nice. Clicky button, your en your serial number is engraved there. I got a 38 and D Flame 40, okay? So yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the difference, okay? So let's put this here, show you guys these bad boys, okay? So this one, okay? This one is a, 
a piece of wood that is made by D-Flame himself. He's, he show, he gave this to me to show you uh, to you guys. This is where the, the chip will be seated in and um, the battery will be seated in inside here, right? So inside there. And this is a polish uh, finish, okay? Just basically cut the wood and just uh, finished it nicely without any shine. So uh, there's no shine. This is what uh, most people will get with their mods uh, always, okay? It's a very uh, dull. It's still nice, but it's not as nice as if you polish it, okay? When you polish it, the color really, really screams. But yes, your slim mama goes in there, just like that, all right? So this is a polished version. It's a finished cut uh, version, but it's just polished. And this one is a finished uh, shine version. So you guys can see the wood uh, is just absolutely beautiful. And the new uh, V2, if you guys go into the list, you guys will get a hybrid wood, all right? So uh, this is hybrid wood. Basically, you get stabilized wood and also a bit of resin. So it, it's called hybrid. Uh, personally, I prefer full stabilized wood. That's why I use, uh, mine is just full stabilized, no resins whatsoever. But uh, a lot of people are using this kind of wood nowadays and they absolutely love it. And I do think it's, to a certain extent, it's actually pretty darn beautiful, okay? It, it is a very beautiful mod. So with the shine, and without the shine, you can you guys can actually tell the difference, okay? um, The shine really does help bring out the colors more okay it really does make the color look at the the tone of the natural wood okay it's just beautiful but yeah what you guys will be expecting in the v2 if you guys buy it is this too okay the fat lady will uh, have uh, this kind of wood okay so bloody brilliant um this one is already ready to to be built just put a chip in there put a 510 connection in there and it's good for it's good to make okay it's it's, it's already a complete product so and i'll show you another one this one is bloody interesting okay this one is uh the d flame basically a puzzled version okay it is uh made for auction so it will be in the in auction in a mod bit it's an, an, an auction page in malaysia uh just go to the group uh follow the group i'm pretty sure ali will uh, update it on the group but yeah this is the puzzled version of the d flame uh, the top and bottom part is obviously from my mod okay and then um, there is a pink stabilized wood here. That's black. And then there's these two uh, orange yellow. Okay, so it is very, very well done. Okay, this is, is some crazy craftsmanship going on here, right? Because all these are different parts. They just puzzled it together and make one mod. Absolutely stunning. You know, absolutely stunning. So yeah, there you go. The uh, flame products, okay? brilliant okay absolutely brilliant um can't say enough they are really really good looking they are all uh, handmade so um the shapes and sizes the shape is most likely the same but the the length it will vary because you know it's handmade okay it's made out of a hand um you're basically getting something that is made by hand so uh that's something to be really proud of so yeah, that's about it for the close-ups. Let's uh, go back up close and show you guys how this thing vapes like and uh, what do I think about it and if you guys should buy it. See you in a bit. So hey guys, I'm back and this is the review. Okay, so what do I think about this mod? Um, Looks-wise, 10 out of 10, okay? It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the feel of this mod, okay, the shape, uh, he... He made it it's, it's absolutely comfortable it's very comfortable it's actually very comfortable if you use your right hand and use a thunder fire bloody comfortable or if you use your left hand use your pinky switch okay fantastic vape okay it's an absolutely a uh, fantastic vape i'm vaping only a sub tank mini here yes go on and laugh okay me using a a thousand plus ringgit mod using a sub tank mini i always get it okay a lot of people don't understand why in my opinion a sub tank mini is bloody awesome all right but yeah the chip the dna 40 everyone knows the dna 40 it is bloody good very stable uh, especially in temperature control it's 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 the most stable okay um the lightness of the mod is absolutely light okay it's very light it's very comfortable and the size yes i know uh, it could be smaller if he used like a hybrid connector but in my opinion if you are buying like a thousand plus ringgit mod um why do you want to you know have a small mod okay why do you want to have a stabilized wood mod which is this big because you're paying a lot of money might as well get more wood okay and 
in my opinion uh, it's absolutely stunning okay it's absolutely stunning uh, the finish is good i like the fact that it has a shine finish so you know it looks brighter uh, and this is what it is okay there's no hdr mode you know a lot of people get their stabilized wood mod they have to edit it uh, hdr the crap out of it to you know to actually see the the details of the mod this one you don't this is what you get okay this is what you see this is what you get okay and i I've, I've been getting a lot of compliments for this so thank you so much ali for you know uh, making such a beautiful mod okay um the buttons are nice very clicky a uh, nice buttons no complaints whatsoever the screen it's, it's just bright i just wish okay i wish uh it had the big screen dna 40 that's all okay i i personally prefer the big screen dna 40 but you know uh let's wait till next time for that all right but yeah that's about it what do i not like about this mod um what do i not like let's be a little critical okay just let's be a little critical this is not even important at all but this is just my personal opinion um the front plate it's aluminium uh, it's made so that it's it's really light okay this mod is extremely light okay uh, you guys have to feel it to know uh, i just wish it was brushed stainless steel okay it will be definitely heavier uh, the model the reason the model uses aluminium is because it's lighter than stainless steel which is true but i just like the, i prefer the looks of uh, brushed aluminium that's just my personal opinion okay and also uh, the bottom piece um i just wish it had like you know a adjustable battery rattle thing even though there's no battery rattle whatsoever it's just that you know you just have to screw it up a bit and you do uh, it does push in quite a bit if you use a short battery so i just wish it had that middle thing there so you can screw it in to uh, help for a battery rattle okay so hopefully um that will be implemented in the v3 who knows okay but i'm just giving my opinion um this mod is my favorite mod obviously okay it is absolutely awesome i've been using this non-stop for the past few days um i love it okay i absolutely love it i love the fact that it's made in saba which was where i'm born i love the looks of it the craftsmanship everything is just perfect okay absolutely perfect i would rate this a 10 out of 10 solid two thumbs up okay it's a lot of people might say i'm biased but i'm not i got into the list if you guys are thinking you know i did some backdoor bullshit no i did not I got into the list okay i got into the list the list is coming out soon so do check out their groups okay the led frame mod group will be down in the description the link go in there join it it's free and then wait for the list to be announced okay when the list is announced you guys can uh get in there okay so the next list which is the v v2 the one i have here it will be hybrid wood okay hybrid wood which is the wood i showed you guys in the close-up um that one will be released in 20 units okay so in upcoming uh, list is 20 units and then slowly they'll build after that so uh you guys should check it out okay go to their their page check it out it is i think one of the cheapest uh, uh mods out there in the market high-end mods okay it is about 1300 ringgit which is give or take three four hundred dollars i think yeah about four hundred dollars okay so for you guys from america outside malaysia you guys interested to get a very cheap but good looking stunning mod the flame okay you do even get a free pouch which i always use because i'm very scared to scratch my mod so it's always in here and i vape like this bloody brilliant okay it's a bloody brilliant mod uh, thank you so much ali thank you for the shirt the logo matches okay so thank you so much for that uh, appreciate it a lot this is a very awesome mod and this is definitely not going anywhere okay this one i'll be keeping for months or years to come okay so yeah that's about it for this review hope you guys enjoyed it do check the group out link will be in the description thank you so much ali thank you so much meng and all the other people from the ali the flame uh, groups team whatever thank you so much for helping me uh do this really awesome uh appreciate it a lot so yeah uh, that's about it and also the keychain okay the bloody keychain uh fantastic a uh, very very nice touch i do not know if you guys will get a keychain if you order one but i did so you know thank you so much ali beautiful okay it matches so thank you so much you know thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you so much all right so um yeah, that's about it as usual go on my page facebook.com slash malaysian vape addict for more reviews and also like my instagram page instagram.com slash malaysian vape addict as usual i'll see you guys next time peace out